Your iPad's control center provides a quick and easy way to access helpful settings and features from any screen. To open the control center, just swipe down from the top right corner of your screen. The top left box is where you can enable airplane mode and change the settings for AirDrop, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi can be quickly switched off and on with just a tap. Tap and hold either the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth buttons to switch networks or change connected devices straight from the control center. Let me show you what I mean. I'll tap and hold the Wi-Fi button. To view more options, I'll need to tap again to turn it back on. And this time I'm going to tap and hold to view available networks. Now playing, or in my case because nothing is playing, not playing, shows any media you are playing on your iPad along with some basic controls. You can enable and disable screen rotation with a tap. Tap this icon to mirror your screen to an Apple TV or other AirPlay enabled device. Tap focus to disable sounds and alerts through do not disturb mode, or you can tap and hold it for more options. Moving over to these sliders, this slider controls your brightness, while this one controls your volume. Down here you can toggle silent mode on or off. Tap here to turn on your flashlight, or tap and hold to adjust the flashlight's brightness. Tapping the clock icon brings up a world clock, alarm, stopwatch, and timer. You can quickly set a timer by tapping and holding the clock icon, and use this slider to set the duration. Not surprisingly, this last icon opens your camera app but you can also tap and hold it to bring up more camera options. It's easy to customize and add widgets to your control center. Just open settings. Over here we'll select control center and click the green plus button to add any widgets. I recommend adding the screen recording feature to start. And while you can scan QR codes with your camera, you have to tap on the screen to open a site. If that seems inconvenient, the code scanner widget automatically opens sites as soon as they're scanned. You can remove widgets by tapping the red minus icons, and you can rearrange your widgets by dragging them with these three lines over here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos in the iPad 101 playlist.